Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for May the 13th of 2020, well, it is titled Jupiter in infrared from Gemini. So what do we see here? Well, this is an image of the planet Jupiter, uh, the largest planet in our solar system. And it may not look like other pictures of Jupiter that you have seen. And that is because this is an infrared image looking at longer wavelengths than visible light. And this is taken by the Gemini North Observatory uh, in Hawaii and is done looking at uh, taking pictures using what they call lucky imaging. Now, what would lucky imaging be? Well, it really, it means you take a whole bunch of pictures of very short exposures. So very, very quick. And normally, we often look at long exposures to bring out detail. But for a relatively bright object like Jupiter, we don't need that. So we can take shorter pictures. And what we mean by lucky imaging is that we try to get them short enough that there are very little changes in the Earth's atmosphere. If we take a deep exposure that lasts many minutes, the Earth's atmosphere is very turbulent and changing, and that affects the light that passes through it from astronomical objects. So if we take very short exposures, then the Earth's atmosphere doesn't have time to change, and by luck, some of them will be really, really good because they are so short and the Earth's atmosphere was essentially unchanging during that time. So then we can put that together to get a picture of what Jupiter looks like. Now here we see it in the infrared and we can see the distinct banding structure that we are used to seeing on Jupiter. So we see bands stretching across the planet and we're seeing the different layers here. Now we look at the infrared because it allows us a deeper view into the planet than visible light. Infrared light is better able to penetrate through the clouds here and allow us to see deeper inside the planet. So we can see the very thick clouds that block out the infrared light look very dark, but thinner clouds allowing us to see through look very light here. So we can learn something about them, and we can also study the turbulence that we can see and the storms. You can see a number of the round storms that we see within the uh, atmosphere of the planet that occur. So this gives us a way to be able to study the weather of Jupiter. What is the weather like on another planet? Well, in some ways, there are some similarities to Earth, but there are also some differences. And hopefully understanding how the, this works uh, in one planet, uh, like, the, like the Jupiter, will help us to better understand our own planet, the Earth, and the weather patterns that we see here. So it gives us a chance to look at another uh, object undergoing weather patterns, much like our own, and to be able to compare those to give us a different point of view to better understand what is going on here at Earth as well. And in addition, of course, we are learning about Jupiter and the large storms on Jupiter, such as the well-known Great Red Spot, that are that has been present on Jupiter for a long time and learn about the other storms and how they come and go on Jupiter. So that was our picture of the day for May the 13th of 2020. It was titled Jupiter in Infrared from Gemini. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone and I will see you in class.